welcome back to Sisibo Acres Homestead. Today we are doing something super fallish um, and it is on my autumn checklist. We are going to be making butternut slash butter buttercup squash soup. Uh, I'm just taking buttercups and butternut squashes and I'm going to roast them. I'm going to roast some garlic as well with them and then we're going to do some onions and some spices and blend it all up and make a bunch of soup. And then I'm going to put them in little uh, soup containers and freeze them. We love simple soups that we can pull out of the freezer, let them thaw overnight, and then have them for lunch the next day. Josh never used to eat soup when we first got married, and so I never made soup even though I love it. And then a couple years ago, I chanced making a soup and he liked it. And from then on, he's been okay with having soup. So we have a lot more soups nowadays. And Josh has these little thermoses that we can heat up with hot water in the morning and then put something hot in them. And usually they stay hot um, until lunchtime, so he can still have a hot meal even if he's working outside and it's a chilly day. So um, we have our butternut squash, which I got from a grocery store, and it is much cheaper right now than it will be for the rest of the season uh, or for the rest of the year because it is being harvested right now. All of the squashes are being brought in and being sold. So now is the time to uh, purchase um, a bulk amount of them if you're going to make a lot of things with them. They also keep for a while. Uh, we've kept spaghetti squash and I've kept butternut squash uh, in our pantry for quite some time. I noticed that butternut, for me at least, has tended to go off faster. So I don't like to keep it just like sitting. My spaghetti squash usually lasts into February, March, or sometimes even April. And we usually grow our own spaghetti squash. So, and then these beautiful buttercup squashes, learning all the names of them. <laughs> these came from just down the road, a local farmer was selling them for 50 cents, a dollar, or two dollars a piece depending on size. So they are a couple of pounds each and I have some bigger ones still yet to come and a bunch, like a bunch of them still in the laundry room where it's coldest. So that's kind of our um, storage space for squashes right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut them open, get the seeds out, um, and then lay them out on these pans that I prepared with some baking paper. And we're gonna drizzle them with some olive oil and we're going to roast them at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. It probably will take a little bit longer because I'm gonna put three pans in my oven if they'll all fit. <laughs> so the, um, it might take a little longer to roast them all, but we'll just test them with a fork and see that they're soft. So let's get started.
So here I was peeling a ton of garlic by hand and someone on Instagram that follows our home setting journey messaged me and let me know that there is a simpler way to roast garlic. And they said that you just cut the um, whole head of garlic in half and you can keep it in the paper and everything. And then you just drizzle some olive oil on the open cut end of each side of the head of garlic. And then you put the paper side down on your tray and you roast it and then when you get it out of the oven you can just kind of squish the cloves of garlic out of the paper because it's so soft so i definitely want to try this next time as it was extremely tedious to peel an entire bowl of garlic mm -hmm. 